Now we are going to model the head of the ring with all the lettering around the stone. We need to bring back uh, some of our uh, hidden parts. So we'll see what's hidden and we will pick uh, maybe that one right there. That should be the outer edge of the stone. Let's take a look at the other. That one, we verify the inner, we delete it. Now let's move on to our perspective and draw the profile right here on the side of the ring using uh, straight lines from quadrant to the end. Zoom in, make sure you're in the right place right there between the two sides of the ring. Make sure it's straight and now we go to the right view. Let's hide the ellipse so that we can see what we're drawing. And we'll continue to draw the profile. We'll go 0.25 towards the inside. We'll drop down 0.25. We'll go inside, 0.5, and this will stop the, the curve right there. Now I will. Uh, we need to offset this curve to 1.2 millimeters, which gives us enough room for the letters and some wall thickness behind them. We'll draw a straight line intersecting here. We'll do trim. We continue to draw the profile. So we will create a straight line from the end of this curve to the origin point, which happens to be the center of our ring. Then we will draw one more from here to the center. Notice I'm using snap to grid. Now I select these and trim. And now we'll join the whole profile into a single polyline. And we can now use Rail Revolve. We'll go to the command, right click here, which is Rail Revolve. Profile, Rail, and the axis down the green. And the head of the ring is created. Notice it's hollow on the inside. Now let's select the curves and delete. Let's join the two parts of the ring. And if we look at the command line, it says he joined it into a closed poly surface. Uh, this is now a solid shank which can be uh, we can save this now as a blank shank for future projects we're now ready to start placing the lettering and logos on the side and around the stone of the ring uh, before we do that we're going to export uh, our shank so that we have a uh, blank shank that we can work with later or, or also on future projects so we'll save it i'm going to use the desktop blank shank save now i can start working on this the first thing we need to do is to separate the outer uh outer skin of the model 
around the around the stone around the shank so that surface on the side and the surface around the stone we're going to extract those so solid tools extract surface we'll click on each one of these surfaces uh, that's the wrong one uh, there we go and we hit enter and now we have those surfaces by themselves and we can put away the rest of the ring and we have those sur surfaces ready I'm gonna hide the side of the ring and work on the around the stone first so right around the stone we're going to write uh, rhinoceros university so we'll go to the curse from object to the UV command and we're going to uh, we're going to create the UV curves, and there they are. This is our layout for that surface. So we'll move it out of the way. Now we need to put our lettering inside this uh, rectangular shape. We'll use the text tool, the text object tool. And we will write whatever it is you're putting on the ring. Make sure to pick a font that will work as a solid. Be very careful with your fonts. Make sure while you're creating the text uh, object that you use uh, curves, not surfaces or solids. That's very important. And pay attention to also the size, the height, So we leave it in curves and we click OK and we place it inside the box. Now we have to decide how we want the lettering to end up on the surface. So uh, there's something we need to do. See the seam line on the surface is down here at the bottom. See how it's a darker line? I'm going to place that on the side instead of at the bottom. Because I want the university and Rhino to start and end there. So. Uh, We'll go to the surface tools and we'll use a just closed surface seam and we'll bring it over to the side over here to the quadrant and there it is, it's dividing it right here instead of at the, at the bottom. And we'll do some adjustments to the lettering now using the scale one dimension. We can scale the letters so that they fit inside the box. No snapping. Analyze your, your, your spaces, make sure that everything is within manufacturable uh, specs. And now we can grab the lettering and take it back to the surface and see what it's going to look like. So we go to our curves from objects. Uh, we right click to apply the UV curves. And we select our surface. 
now in the top view, while looking at it, I can see that it's a slightly shifted to one side. Uh, and I want to adjust that a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. I'm going to readjust the seam to be a little higher so that the R will go higher and the S on the other side will go down. And it will kind of even out a little bit. So uh, we go back to our, we undo, then we'll adjust the seam. The surface tools adjust curve seam. And then we do the UV one more time. Right click, then click the surface. And as you can see, it's much even, much more even now. Looks much better. Okay, now we're going to continue working on this. Uh, we are going to uh, select the edge, which is after the UV. This is the box. We'll explode it. And we'll get rid of the two little connecting lines over here. That leaves us with just the two edges and the letters. What we'll do now is we're going to offset on surface. We'll select that one. Pick that surface. Notice the arrow telling us the direction, which is correct in this case. And we're going to offset by 0 0.08, a very small distance. We just need to go inside the edge and delete the original. Now we go to the bottom and do the same process. Point 0.8, enter and delete. There we go. Now we have the edge. We're just off the edge. This is so the Boolean will work later on. The Boolean will not match the edge, so we'll be able to do the Boolean difference later on. So right now we'll split the surface with all of our curves. So we grab all these curves, including the edge curves. And we split them with, with all the curves. And uh, now we'll delete the outer rim from the surface and the surfaces of the letters. Go all the way around. And all the surfaces of the letters are getting deleted. Now let's go to the select menu and select curves and delete them. Now all we have left is the surfaces. We're going to select them all and go to the surface tools and use offset. We'll activate solid both sides and we'll use 0.6 for the distance. We hit delete to get rid of the original. And there is our solid blank that is going to remove the cavity from the ring. So let's import the, the blank uh, ring that we saved earlier. So file, import. Go to the desktop where I saved it and I'll find it. There it is. Here's the ring. Under, under the new shape that we created, we use Boolean difference. The ring, enter. The blank shape, enter. And the negative cavity is uh, scarved, and uh, we have the, the shape. Now we'll go ahead and Boolean the small little insets from the letters. One more. I think we got them all. Enter. And we now have the letters around the stone sunk into the into the shape of the ring. 